Hey, it's a beautiful afternoon for a softball doubleheader. We're at McWhorter Stadium in Clemson, South Carolina for game two between the Syracuse Orange and the Clemson Tigers. She did a great job of going with that pitch that she hit for a triple there in the bottom of the sixth. 2-0 pitch, off speed, hit into the right center field gap, and it looks like at least one Tiger will score. Valerie Cagle rounding third base. She's going to score a two-run, two-out double from Aliyah Logaleo. Mark, I said it three batters ago. I don't know why, I don't know how, but leadoff walks score. They do. They, they don't put up single runs very often. Oda hits one between first and seconds. Logaleo, play at the plate, slides in safely. Oda will be thrown out at second base. So a single and an RBI plates. Infield is in. Logaleo kind of hits one off the fist. That's going to land fair out in left field. One run's going to score. Look at this aggressive base running. Slides in safely at the plate. Are you kidding me? This is what they do. The last time that rule was interpreted to me, that's the way it was explained. Clark hits one toward right field. It's going to go over the right fielder's head and watch her run the bases. She's at second base, heading over to third, throw over to third base, gets away. Clark does not hesitate, and she comes home to score. Two runs in on probably going to be a triple and an error, but it shows you the kind of pressure that Mackenzie Clark puts on the defense. And did you see the way she ran? Cagle hits one back up the middle. There's the single, there's the RBI, and the Tigers have stretched the lead to eight to nothing. One, two to Hasso. Swung on and missed, strike three. Hyatt will convert it down to first base, and Millie Thompson gets a shutout win for the Tigers. They win game two, eight to nothing. They move to two and zero oh in the ACC. So a four to one win earlier today.